Shep, when you hear that number, 89 people in New York would have kept a seat, that is really striking, and it speaks to why advocates were so vocal during the time that this census was being gathered that people needed to participate because it literally translated into having their voices heard in Congress. So in this data, we're starting to get this picture of who gets what seats, but also a fuller picture regionally of where populations are growing. The South and West, for instance, each saw 9 and 10 percent average growth in their populations, while the Northeast and Midwest saw lower population increases than that. With growing populations comes growing political influence. Consider that of the top four states with the most representatives in Congress, Texas and Florida are two of them. So this is really just the first step in learning what the data in the 2020 census is. By the end of the summer, we're, start, we're gonna start getting into the nitty gritty of the data, the demographic breakdowns, and that redistricting information that states across the country are going to be using to redraw their electoral maps. Now, data itself is apolitical, but just consider the fact that when you look at those states that gained seats, who is in control of that redistricting process? In Texas, Florida, and North Carolina, it's Republicans. In Montana and Colorado, they've got independent commissions. And in Oregon, Democrats basically granted Republicans veto power over proposed maps. So that's going to be an interesting case to watch, too. Now, it's also remembered to important here when this census was taken. One, they sent out census forms in the middle of March. And then one week later, cities and states started closing down because of COVID. Add on top of that wildfires, hurricane seasons, there were a lot of barriers to getting this census data in, and it has even been delayed. Despite all of that, though, Shep, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo said today to reporters that she believes the count was complete and accurate, and I heard from several officials who say they are very confident in these numbers. Shep? Ali Vitale, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.